Right, using my mobile phone to film this. This is my Canon power shot. That's where the battery goes. So that's one of the good batteries. In fact, that's the one I've scratched original on. So that goes in that way round. No, it doesn't. I've just done that. <laughs> can we see in there? Yeah, we can see the little tags in there that line up with that. Yeah, so that goes in that way round. And what we've actually got on the edge here is a little bit that flicks out so that you can put a power cable in there. So that's where I could have my modified one in there with a JST lead sticking out of it and I can plug a LiPo battery in the outside. Do I want to do that? Do I want to risk my good camera in that way? Truth is, it should be absolutely fine. 7.4 volt, so 2S external LiPo, something like that one. 10,000 milliamp hour. Yes, that says 3.7, but there's two of them, so it is a 2S. And that would keep it running for <laughs> days, well, certainly for hours anyway. What are these? That one was supposed to be 1400 milliamp hours. I doubt whether it ever was. That one says 920. So that one should give me 10 times the time. And they run for about two hours on continuous video. So that should give me about 20 hours, <laughs> in theory. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that and I'll think about this. Hi guys, just thinking about making my uh, adapter for the batteries on my Canon PowerShot SX60HS. This is the circuit board out at the bottom of one of the batteries and in fact you can actually look at it you can see it says P plus P minus and then we got C and T I'm guessing T stands for test and C is the center tap or the balance tap between the two cells on the 2S LiPo. Now I'm pretty confident but not 100% confident that the camera itself probably only uses the P plus and the P minus and it probably doesn't use the C and the T. They are probably for the charger but just in case I'm wrong, for my first attempt, I'm going to use, rather than an ordinary JST lead, I'm going to use this balance lead, where the red lead is the positive, the black lead is the negative, and the blue lead is the one that goes to the centre tap between the two S lipos, or the two cells. So that will be B plus red, B minus black, and BC, as that one is labelled, will be the blue one. So I'm going to tin them and put that lead on them. So say so that way it's still going to be getting exactly the same as it would have been getting from the original two cells that were in the battery. 
but you're getting the same information. That's the one that was a bit puffy. I don't know if you can see that. So that's our three leads in place. What I need to do now is sort out some way of making sure this stays. <laughs> I'll get my fingers out of the way. stays at the end of the casing. There are some little tags on the bottom there that should hold it in place. But I was thinking I might put a bit of something up the middle here just to stop it rattling around. So that's my little spacer in there. Just a bit of wood. It's actually super glued to that half of the plastic. And then I've put some sticky tape on it there, so I can put the other half on top. So there we go. That is our dummy battery. Right. This got very confusing last night. Um, had it all nicely wired up. Had it all sealed down into a dummy case. And then I came to test it. And nothing. Now I checked all my wiring and all sorts. And nothing would get it going. So I double checked on a good battery. And there we go, I've got the full voltage. If I took another one apart, tried it again, because I thought maybe I'd burnt out the little chip on the back of there and had exactly the same problem. Wired it up, nothing. Unplug it, plug it back in again. Nothing. Then I had an idea. This is the proper charger. If I just hold that in place, you'll see the charge light comes on. Take it off again. And there you go. We've got the full voltage. So I think Possibly that T tag there is some sort of trigger and it needs to have had something passed through it to actually get voltage out. So now we're getting the proper voltage out. If I unplug it, plug in another battery and we'll get nothing again. I think. Yeah, nothing. Stick it in the charger just briefly, just enough to tell it. Well, that's unfortunate. I've just broken the balance lead off, but let's see if we still get voltage out of it. Yeah. So there's something in the charger that's probably sending a signal into there, I've no idea, but that's telling the chip to turn on, so it works. So that's all a bit confusing, but it's it's not burnt out, it's doing some sort of self-check, and it needs to have had a voltage pump, pumped into it for it to start working in the reverse way. Hope that makes some sort of sense. So uh, yeah, one of those things there, one of those chips needs to have some voltage pass through it 
in the charging direction for it to switch on and allow voltage to pass through in the discharge direction. Very confusing. And obviously these wires are a little bit iffy because that one's broken. Okay, so I'll reassemble the other one of those, the, the dummy one I made up. And then if we put it in the charger briefly, it will work. Or we just do away with all of that and we just bridge the contacts until we get a direct path from the B minus to the P minus and the B plus to the P plus. And bypass all that electronics anyway. The reason I'm leaving it in there is I'm guessing there's some sort of protection circuit in there, which is a good idea to protect my camera. Right, back to my dummy battery. So if I plug that in there, go on there. We have nothing. Briefly stick it in there so it says it's charging. Pull it out again. Go on there. And we got the full voltage. So that caused me a lot of heartache overnight trying to figure out what had gone wrong. And there's some trigger in there to tell it to allow it to discharge. Well, we learn something every day. Whether I actually want to use this on my camera or not, I'm not quite sure. But uh, there we go, that's an external battery. What I need to do is try and find out what it is I need to do to those tags to tell it that it can discharge. Whether it's as simple as just applying some power, I don't know. But that is now working. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>